pack. We went viral this week. A lot of controversy over on Worldstar. 500 comments, 700,000 views. A lot of people mad about oh your comments about Travis Hunter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your take on that? The people are pissed. Uh, half of these people don't even fucking play football, so I'm not really worried about these people. The facts are the facts. I would have stuck my whole face through his whole rib cage, like I said. And it would have been a legal hit. It's not like it would have been a bad hit. Like, But I enjoy people telling us how to play football um, and how to hit somebody when I played this game, what, 15 years in the NFL? This is pretty high level, yeah. so. Yeah, but it was fun. I, I I love it. Keep engaging with us, people. We love y'all. Without y'all, there's no us. Yes. And a lot of the comments, I have to point this out. I feel like they're getting too much about me. Oh, this guy's a handsome young man. Listen, I'm a guy. I have picks and opinions. You know, I'm a human being, all right? And yeah, it was only two comments that said that, and one was my mom, one was my grandma, but the point still stands. Guys, I'm a real human. I'm not just a piece of meat. So I wanted to put right. that, that PSA out there. You know, I'm, I'm more than my good looks, you know? Yes. And yes. a lot of people might not recognize me this week because I'm not wearing a hat. So they might be like, who's that guy with Pac-Man? It's me, Zach, just to clarify. It's not Taylor Lautner or some other model guy. It's Zach. So I wanted no, to put that out there. My buddy, Zach. Um, it's Pac's buddy, Zach. So for everyone out there wondering, it's yeah. me, Zach. Uh, Saturday got up to a rocky start. It did. Uh, Colorado... Goes against it Oregon, was... a top 10 team. A lot went on before yeah. the game, but Colorado didn't back it up in the game. Pac-Man, what went wrong? Um, what you mean? One of the best, best players in the country did not play. Like, Travis Hunter didn't play. It would have been a big difference if Travis Hunter would have played. Me personally, I think so. Um, we had no answer this week. They played faster. They was way more up-tempo. It just looked like we was a little bit behind. We dropped a lot of balls. Um, this is a learning step, you know? This is a learning step, but Colorado going to be all right. Colorado is, yep. might lose three games. <laughs> um, so, I'm, I'm, not really, I'm not really worried about it. But if you go back and watch the film, um, they had a lot of blown assignments. Um, and they was missing Travis. So, like, we'll see. We'll see how it keeps going. Um, D only been there for what? He ain't even been there a whole year yet. What, it been six, seven months? Um, so, obviously, he's doing something right. He have the whole – fucking world talking about what he's doing right now even fucking skip bailey's got something to say about it and i, I just like let's keep this at a respectable level people <laughs> you smell me like so, well, what do you think we, about we, his we, comment we keep it the black you america's like, team like why can't it just be america's team yeah why do we have to put a color <laughs> or a gender on it i don't get it i don't know so we got to get these uh, 80 year olds out of sports media. Oh my God. Like, let's not do that, bro. Like, and <laughs> sad. That's all I'm going to say. Because. Yeah, that was a crazy comment. Sad. Yeah. It's sad. And the, the big part about it, he got guys up there that I really hold to a high standard. Um, So it's got to be talked about. They got to talk about it. And we, we'll see how they address the situation. But, mm. Mm -mm -mm. They've got another so. game against a top-tier team. They're going up against USC, but at least they're coming back to Colorado. They're in Boulder for this one. Similar line to last week. They're underdogs by 21.5 points. Looks like Travis Hunter is going to come back, like you said. Pac, what do you think about this matchup? Um, One thing I do like about this matchup is at home in Colorado. So the, the, the environment, the... the the crowd is going to be a little different than going on the road. So um, I'm taking the, the plus 21 again. I'm taking the plus 21 and a half. I'm going – I'm saying that Deion them play a whole lot better this week. And when Travis Hunt on the field, it's a whole different ball game. I'm taking the points and plus 21 and a half. Sign me up, coach. Yeah, I – listen, I thought the problem was their trenches. I thought the offensive line, the defensive line looked – a lot weaker compared to Oregon, who's a powerhouse. They've had years to build that up. Strength coaches, the whole nine yards. Um, I don't know if that gets fixed against USC, but I don't think USC is as strong in the trenches. They're more of an electric, big-time, play-making team, kind of like Colorado, but maybe on a grander scale. So I agree. I think they cover the 21.5. Take the point. And as Skip, 
Skip Bayless said they're black America's team. If we got white America's team, it's Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey with the Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> it's the reverse. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one right there. The, the women are going oh. crazy. Uh, everyone's yes. talking about it. We had just talked about Kim K and Odell. We didn't even go over Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. You said these NFL guys are dating these mega stars. People don't even know about it. She's in the box with his mom. What did, did you think he oh, played better because out. of that? Was that motivating? Like we did call it out. We did foreshadow it. Well, I I, I smelled something in the air before everybody else did. Um, what a genius marketing move for for what he did though. Like. This has probably been premeditated since he went to the concert. I'm quite sure they was already dating it before he went to the concert. You know what I mean? It just seemed yeah. like, all right, now we can let him know. You know what I mean? I I love it. I love it. And it's probably a lot of more guy, a lot more guys. Um, like I said, that's dating some big name people that people don't pretty much know because sometimes we don't want to put our business out there because then everybody get the nitpick of what this person doing. If you don't know that this person is in a relationship or what we doing, like you can't really throw the stones at it. So like I said, I think there's a lot more um, relationships out there too. Yeah, Bet Online's got a lot of odds on this relationship. Yes or no, are they a couple by Valentine's Day 2024? Yes, minus 140, no, plus 100. Hell yeah. Yeah. Pack yeah. likes the line there, minus 140. Are you, are you, is that yeah. like one of your locks of the week, you think? Is that strong? That's def, that's definitely my lock of the week. Good. I, I, I'm glad we I, got that stamp. It's the best bet we got on here, I think. Well, probably. Nah, we got, we got a, I don't know. We got a couple games. That, <laughs> that is probably, <laughs> we yeah. got a couple games, but that that's number one when we're talking about the football. And I know a lot of people are like, Travis Kelsey did promote his new podcast. Zach, are you dating Olivia Rodrigo? No, stop. I'm not dating her. Oh, TMZ sure? messaging me. No, no, it's not, nothing's going on behind the scenes. So oh, okay. let's uh, let, let's put that to rest. Just friends. Just friends. Oh, that's good. That's um, why I love you, man. Thursday night, Detroit Lions and the Green Bay Packers. Detroit soiled our Atlanta pick. We went with the A. They got it done. Hanging on the Packers, who who had a good come from behind victory. They were down. Jordan Love rallied the troops. Looks like they're going to have Aaron Jones and Christian Watson back at Lambeau Field. Lions still, though, favored by a point and a half. Pack, what do you think about this matchup? Um, at Lambeau Stadium, I'm going to take the point and a half. Um, Detroit Lions are a very, very good football team. Um, is But Green Bay at home? It's hard for me to go against Green Bay at home. We're getting plus one and a half. It ain't shit out there but Green Bay. Like when you, it's the worst trip that you can take as a professional athlete, as far as being the guest team. <laughs> you have no scenery yeah. or nothing, you know, the night before the game. But um, I like Detroit, what they doing. But I'm going Green Bay. Take the point in the half, baby. Yeah, that Lambeau Field. It's a tough environment to play in. I mean, the Pack Packers traditionally great home team, great home team, and it looks like they're gonna get Christian Watson back, gonna get Aaron Jones back. The offense should be a lot more explosive than last week against the Saints. Looked like they kind of found their rhythm late. I say a lot to say. I'm going with the Detroit Lions. I know okay. we doubted them last week. They're a really good team. They are. Like, Dan Campbell has them coached up. Their offensive line play is really strong. Amon Ross St. Brown finds holes in the defense. Sam Laporta, shout out to him. He's been one of the best tight ends in the NFL, period. And that's almost impossible as, as a tight end. So... Shout out to him. Uh, they had a great rookie draft class. Like the way they built that team. I'm going to go with the Lions. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me. <laughs> this next team. You called it out. You said the Miami Dolphins are the best team in the NFL. And what do they do? What do they do? They go out and they drop a damn NCAA football stat line. What? They score 70 points. And they could have scored 70. more. 70. 70. 70. Impossible. And that was sweet revenge. And after what Sean Payton said about Tua last year, I bet he I, had that game marked on his calendar all year. And I bet Mike McDaniel had it marked on his calendar all year. The Broncos didn't even grant him a head coaching interview 
when he was a, a coaching, you know, when he was up for grabs. So he was also a Broncos ball boy growing up. They, they came to play. They were ready. Oh, yeah, and Mike McDaniel, he dialed that motherfucker up from the top flow. I mean, did you see the offense, bro? Like, this was oh a fast God. break. This was like a team, I don't know if people know about basketball on this show, but it's like having a team that's full of point guards that press you the whole game. You know what I mean? That's athletic, that can run, that can go dunk, that can do everything. Man, this offense look unbelievable. Like, I don't even know who, who you double – do you double Waddle? Do you double Tyreek Hill? The motion with Tyreek, the motion that he is doing with Tyreek Hill, you can't, you can't, you never can get your hands on him. It's nobody, I said it last week, nobody can guard his little ass if you got to play him from off. If you don't get a chance to get up there and get him at the line, you're going to lose some, you're going to win some, you're going to lose the, the battle every time if you're not doubling him. So I just, I think, and then you, you look at the defense, the defense is playing pretty good. On Big the other Fangio. side. Is it over with for Russell? Mm, mm, mm. Shit, yeah. if Sean Payton yeah. can't do nothing with him, who can do something with him? Is, is it the end of the road? Um, It probably is, but he was better than the defense, which isn't saying much because they gave up 70 damn points. But that was probably the worst run defense performance I've ever seen. Who let the NFL get – who let the Dolphins get De Devin Achain? Who, who thought that was a good idea? The Dolphins have the four fastest players in the NFL right now. Tyreek Hill, Jalen yeah. Waddle, Raheem Mostert, Notching. It's the most ridiculous damn thing I've ever seen. It looks like a Madden created team. Uh, and if you told any old school guy, they'd say that's way too many gadget guys that won't work in an offense. Mike McDaniel says, no, I'm the smartest offensive coordinator in the NFL. I know what I'm doing. He's scheming these, got, uh, these guys up beautifully. He's a step ahead. And it's going to take a special effort from a defensive coordinator to figure this offense out. That being said, they're underdogs. Going against Buffalo, plus two and a half. Pack, what are your thoughts? Uh, I think the Dolphins have another. They're going to score 30 points, 30, 40 points. Like, yeah. they are so explosive right now. I like Buffalo. I'm not taking them against Buffalo. I don't know if. Uh, I don't know. I, 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 and they're in Buffalo. I just. It's, 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 it's summertime still. It's not cold, so that's not going to affect anything. As long as two are in the game, I just don't see how they lose right now with the way they're playing. The offense that they're playing with is a high power, fast, uh, what, what is it? Fast break West Coast offense. And the shit that Mike McDaniel's doing right now with this motion, bro, like it's unheard of. Like he's doing a really good job of using everybody and using the entire 53 and a third, which is the length, I mean, the width of the field um, with the motion um, right up on the ball. And Tua is playing good. Like he's throwing the ball really good right now. I'm going with the Dolphins. I'm going to take the Dolphins in two and a half plus. You smell me? Yeah. They remind me of like the Warriors in 2015 or they're just, there's something new, different. I feel like this offense is kind of revolutionary. I think it's going to change the way people call offenses. That's how highly I think of this team. And I just want to give a shout out to Josh Allen. He played his tail off against Washington. He made one of the most disgusting throws I've ever seen, 40 yards down the field on the run. Josh Allen, he looks back. He looks, he was a little bit shaken against New York. This is going to be a high score matchup. The over under is 53 and a half. This is I'm circling it, game of the week. Both these teams might put up 30-plus. I'm going with the but Dolphins, you, too. I can't go against them after that performance. Okay. It's impossible. And we both picked the Dolphins last week. They came through against Denver. But, my God, how could you pick against what that offense has been cooking recently? Yeah, and Josh Allen, we, we've never questioned Josh Allen. Um, he's going to make those plays on the run where he can throw the ball probably on his knees 60, 80 yards in the air. The question that, that we have with Josh accurate. Allen – the question that we have with Josh Allen is, when they get down to the get down, can he not turn the ball over and not see yeah. those? That's the question. We already know he can throw the ball from from here, from Cincinnati to Miami if he needed to. The question is, can, can he not turn the ball over and can he read the coverage? Yeah, I just shot him out for play of the week. He's He's got similar tools to like a Cam Newton or someone like that. The tools are ridiculous. We know that. Can he limit the yeah. turnovers? And that'll be the key in this game as well. It. Ravens versus Browns. Interdivision matchup. Pac-Man, I know you don't like, I know you hate both these teams. 
Browns minus no, two and I don't a half hate both of them. in Cleveland. Which one do you hate more? Um, you know, we was talking last week about Nick Chubb being gone. It came back and played pretty good last week without Nick Chubb. It wasn't uh um what's the word? Pretty, pretty win, but they came back and played good without the best player on their team to me. The defense is I know fierce. they got Miles Garrett. No. I think he's the I think Nick Chubb was the best player on Cleveland team, period point blank. Including Mount Garrett. Um but saying this of, of picking the game, I don't know. Baltimore came out last week and didn't look like the Baltimore they looked the first two weeks. So uh, I don't know. In dog pound, division game. I'm gonna take Cleveland. I'm gonna take the Browns minus two and a half. Baltimore didn't look good at all. They give up a game to the Colts with Gardner Minshew. Um, that, that was a game they shouldn't have lost. They didn't no. look like the same team. They looked a little bit lost offensively and de- defensively. I'm going to go with the Ravens, and I'm going to go with the money line plus 125. I think they get it done. I think Deshaun Watson makes a few too many mistakes, and Lamar gets back on track. I don't know. We'll see. We have to see. And, by the way, shout out to the, to the Browns defense. They... Shut the Titans down. Well, Titans haven't really given us too much as far as offensive-wise, um, especially not at the quarterback play. Oh, my God. Nothing. And Derrick Henry got nothing off. Nothing. Um, I don't know. I, I expected more from the Titans this year. I, I really thought they would win that division. Um, I know everybody was picking Jacksonville because of the quarterback play, but it's wide open right now. It's wide open. Wide, wide open. Next game, your team, they finally Hold get on, the win. Let me say one thing. Let me say one thing okay. before we go. All right, all Shout right, out all to right. Jim. Shout out to Jim Swartz. Uh, I know you was licking your chops, which was the old defensive coordinator for the Titans when I played there. Shout out to Swartz. Swartz, shout out, baby. Good win. Yeah, he's made a huge difference with that defense. Miles Garrett, three and a half sacks. But all over the field, he's made a huge difference. And he's gotten a lot of hate yeah. ever since he was Detroit's head coach. But he's a damn good defensive play caller. Damn good. He's really good. Speaking of the Titans, though, they're going against your team, the Cincinnati Bengals. Who day? Who day? Y'all see what is, you see the shirt? You know who I'm going with. Mm-hmm. I think Joe, Joe has – let me – what's the word? How do I put this? I think this will be a come-out party for Joe. It's time for Joe to have one of his days. He haven't had a, a crazy day yet. I think in the division, he might have the lowest passing yards in the division. Um, I think this is this is game right here. This is the game that he come out and throw for probably three, four hundred 400 um, and get Chase a 100-yard game this year because it – Chase just now getting going. Last week, we didn't even know Chase was on the field. I mean, like, yeah. you, I don't even know how many targets he had, but, like, we got to get him the ball. We got to figure out a way to get him the ball and at least put him in motion. Like, come on, y'all, let's go. Yeah, I think they got to take a page out of Mike McDaniel's playbook with some of that stuff. Hell, copy the plays. But, yeah, they got to get Jamar Chase going. I thought they did a good job of that. You were at the game live. They threw to him 15 times. He had 12 catches. That was a step in the right direction. I thought, from yeah. the invisible performance. And they got to get him going because the Tennessee Titans have the best damn run defense in the NFL for the second straight year. Jerome Ford was averaging like two yards a carry. Jeffrey Simmons and that defensive front are ridiculous. If the Titans didn't have that run defense, they would be the worst team in the NFL. So it's all on Joe Burrow's shoulders and bad calf. Well, you know what happened when we went down there last time? Last time, you know what happened? Joe Burrow had a hell of a day, buddy. Minus yeah. two and a half. I'm going Bengals. I like this bet. This might be my favorite bet. Um, the way our defense is playing, our defense is playing right now. Um, we play really good this week. Really good. I think the defense was the reason why we won the game this week. What six sacks, two interceptions. Yeah. Come on, man. That's a hell of a week for the defense. So I know going in, going from this week. I mean, going from last week to this week with the momentum that the defense got. Um, the way the corners are playing, um, I think I think Bengals win. Bengals win uh, by seven. I'm going. I think we win by seven. I'm gonna go 
with Cincy too. I really liked what I saw out of them. They showed me enough to where I think they're going the right direction. They threw to Jamar Chase a lot. Like you said, they got to implement him more. He is maybe the m one of the most talented players in the NFL, period. So we saw yes. him with that LSU team. We saw him his first two years in the NFL. Find ways to get him the damn ball. And I I, I would avoid running the ball. I, I would say, Joe, this is your game. You killed the Titans last time. Their secondary is weak. They're not going to be able to run the ball. This Tennessee front is ridiculous. Like, the Cleveland Browns have a great offensive line. Uh, very good coaching with Bill Callahan. They couldn't get a single thing off. So my game plan would be to air the ball out, get Jamar Chase going. Hopefully T. Higgins can start catching the ball. Like he usually does. Oh, uh, he, um, he only had two drops. He had two drops. But those were crucial drops, too. That was third down. That's the big part about it. The chains get to move. Like, when you don't make them third down catches, you know, then you start like, all right, how much do we really got to give them? And we don't want that to be a question mark when it comes to getting paid because we won't get paid. And T, my boy, um, he got to catch that ball. Yeah, and I have high expectations for D against because I think of him – not as the number two receiver, but 1B, right? I think of him and Jamar both yeah. as number one receivers, so he's got to go out there. He's got to play like I think he's one of the best young receivers in the NFL. If you want to jump ball, nobody's better than T. Higgins. So I, I think he'll clean it up. Oh, yeah. He'll be all right. You know, we got the W. They'll forget that. You forget quick when you win. The next game, it's not black America's team. It's not white America's team. It's the America's team. Patriots at Cowboys. And I want to preface this by saying... We both picked Dallas, but that was before Trayvon Diggs tore his ACL and before the three yeah. offensive linemen were ruled out. I would not have picked Dallas if I knew all that. I actually told people don't bet on Dallas. Um, but the Cardinals went in there. They did the damn thing. Mike McCarthy had the worst red zone play calling performance I've ever seen in my life. Um, they literally couldn't convert a damn thing. They were driving up and down the field. So if I'm the Cowboys, you don't even need to practice anything but converting in the red zone. It's not rocket science. It's 20 yards or less. You got to get the ball into the 10 yard area called the end zone. Um, Cowboys, Patriots, Cowboys minus seven. Pack, what do you got? Seven is a lot of points. Seven is, is a lot of points. I'm just sitting here put, trying to put it all together. Uh, just seven is a lot of points. And Bill does a great job when he goes against the Cowboys. Uh, seven is a lot of points. I'm going New England. I'm going with Matt Jones and the boys. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the seven points and uh, see how this go. Cause I'm not yeah, really sold I, on these new cornerbacks that's coming in to play since Trayvon Diggs got hurt. I'm not sold. No, I won't say no, no. names, but I'm really not sold. No. No, I'm not sold either. I think they should probably are gonna have to go get a trade, at least a short term one. Is it? It didn't. It was not the same level of play. One thing though, I the offensive linemen. I think all three are gonna be back. I think you're gonna have a strong offensive line. Tony Parr's gonna be running hard. Micah had an off performance for his standards. Still got a sack. I think he comes back. I think he's gonna be a hungry lion. I think the Cowboys cover the seven at home. Oh. Seven but I, I'd points. circle the, the matchup. Zach, seven a, a lot of points, Zach. It's a lot of points. Seven a lot of points. I'm just saying. It's a, lot a lot of, of points. points. It's a lot, a lot of, points. of points. And I it might be close. I think they, they pull away. I God, they just gotta convert in the red zone or the Cardinals game. I it's mind boggling to me that, you know, do they not work on it in the off season? Like I don't So was the the pick that Dak threw, was that the coach's fault or Dak fault? No one was open. That play call was horrible. Why throw the ball, Zach? If if, if no they one don't is convert, open, what the do game's you do? over you, too. Did you see the throw? It's, it's third. It went, okay, it was awful. The, like the worst read uh, there's been in a long time. That was like a That's high school level that throw. That throw was right there. Um, yeah, no, the, the, Dak deserves some they of the blame, in, but like 80% McCarthy, like 20% Dak. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Dak got a play. That was right. terrible, That's though. I, I want to clarify that, was that, that, that was an awful throw. I, I, I want to put that uh, out there. I'm not an idiot. In case someone's that listening, is like, this kid doesn't know what he's talking about. That was terrible. Yeah. yeah um, they call that a Stevie you, you Wonder Read. You definitely know what you're talking about. But, yes, there you, what they call it? <laughs> Stevie Wonder Read. Right. Can you see me? Can you see me? Oh, interception. I don't know, man. I don't know if he got a spell 
on the big games, but every like I don't know. I, I don't. That's all about the conversation. Yeah. Um. He's got Kirk Cousins in him. That's all I'm gonna say. He, he's got that tendency. There you go. Yeah. Love him as a person. Love him as a player. <sighs> Would I choose him right now? Is no. I don't know. Great guy. Great guy. Unbelievable guy. <laughs> so, show um, type of guy you let your daughter date. Unbelievable guy. I don't know yeah. if I'm letting him quarterback my team, but you know he's welcome yeah. to the family. Andy Dalton, unbelievable guy. I love Andy. Yeah. When it comes to his game, I don't know if I feel the same way about it though. But as a person, I do love Andy. Raiders, Chargers. Last week, I picked the Vikings. You picked the Chargers. It was a bad beat. It was probably the worst Charger-related incident either of us have had in the last month. The fact that I picked them and they didn't win. I can't think of any other Charger thing that happened to us. Um, yeah. But the Chargers got it done. The offense was electric. Justin Herbert and Keenan Allen, 19 catches over 200 yards. Oh, man. It was Still a ridiculous got it. Is that what connection. they say? Oh, was I was ridiculous. so happy for Keeney. Yeah, they, it was a good. They had an unbelievable week. Hey, man, to, I, I forget how old he is. What he is, 34, I think, Keenan is? Come on, bro, he's still doing this, playing at a high level, which is very hard to do. Um, I won. I picked Chargers. That was a great pick. I told you. <laughs> Who went with the Chargers? It was, uh, it was you know, the, the best Charger thing to happen. Yeah. Yeah, but this yeah. week against uh, the Raiders, I don't know. Plus six. Or minus six, yeah. I don't even – will anybody be at the game, you think, this week? You think they have fans um, in the stand this week? Maybe like six or seven. It looks like it's going to be a Raider Nation game. I'm going to take the plus six, and I'm going to go with the Raiders. Yeah, Um. I, Josh McDaniels. That was the worst decision I've ever seen a head coach make. You're down eight with three minutes left. If you go for the field goal, you're down five. You still have to stop the other team, get the ball back, and get a touchdown. Why would you not go for it and just drop a play for Devontae Adams? I don't understand possibly how he came up with that thought process. They ended up going for after. The other team goes off sides, they accept it, they waste more time, and they make the same decision. If I was if I was Al Davis' son, I would you be disgusted. I would call actually, him, I would say, you're fired. I actually called Vontez when that happened. I was like, yo, did you just see that? Like, what should you have you done right here? You got five minutes to go. He thinking get three. All right, we stop him. They had, what, one timeout? Bro. I think they had one timeout. You still timeout. need a touchdown! <laughs> but if you get the three, you stop them, you still got to score. Uh, and you know. have Bad no decision. time! Bad decision. And you got to go yeah. way more yards! I know, I think I know what he was thinking, but I don't want to say it. I, I was think, I'm thinking he's thinking, kick the field goal, boom. Kick it back, stop them, call the timeout. We'll get the ball back with what a minute, forty-five seconds probably left on the clock. I know it sounds like a bad that's decision. That's if you make him go three and out. There's a higher I, chance that's what you're you thinking. you, you that's convert what you're it. Thinking though. Yeah, I'm. But you got to put trust in your quarterback there. Like, there's a higher chance that you convert that fourth and five and score mm. than there is of your defense forcing a three and out. Getting the ball back and driving an additional 80 yards. Don't, uh, nah. Yeah. What about accepting nah. the penalty, wasting another minute and a half, and then making the same decision again? Well, that was a bad coaching job right there. But I don't, I don't, I can't agree with, I mean, look, I can't agree with you on the field goal and then going putting it on the defense because. That's what we do. You still have a chance to win the game. Now, if you go for it right there, then what? If you, you don't get to Devontae it. Adams? What if you don't That's get That's a high percentage play. 
I mean, that's also that why is, you pay but if a guy I double, $30 if million. I, dollars. He, but he might get double. Because in this league, Kobe Myers, let Hunter one Renfro. Per- yeah. One player ain't going to beat us. You got to double him. We got to take Devontae out the game. And I'm quite sure he was double. It was from big. The time I don't. I don't know if they didn't get the memo about Devontae Adams, but his nickname should be 7-Eleven because he was open that whole game. <laughs> so shout out to Devontae Adams. Um, Josh McDaniels, to me, the worst coach in the NFL, I think he's gonna get exposed again. I got the charge. You think he's the worst? He's the, the worst. worst. I think he's the worst. Yeah, I think All he's a Phil Belichick hype job. Yeah, really bad with the Broncos. Really um, bad. Yeah, we'll see if he can do anything with the Raiders. They, they I mean, they just got, you know, they just lost to Pittsburgh. So I'm going to go with Chargers minus six. Love what I've seen at Justin Herbert and Keenan Allen, who a lot of people were doubting Keenan Allen, saying he lost his step. So I'm happy for him as well. Hey, I want to tell you this, bro. Any given Sunday, just know that. You see all them games, what happened last week. Just know, any given Sunday, you can be beat. Everybody get paid around here. I just want you to know that. And this year, you we all right, well, who's the dominant team? One week win, one week loss. One week win, one week loss. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if we have an established saying this is our number one besides Miami. San Francisco. Oh, you can put San Francisco up there too. Pretty, like pretty good. One. I missed it. Yeah. yeah too. They're pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, pretty, that's a good one. Pretty good. Pretty. Pretty good. Pretty good. Bro, pretty. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Chiefs, Jets. Um, we, we already covered the Chiefs situation. The Jets are dealing with their own situation. That's getting a lot of attention, a lot of buzz. The quarterback position, a lot of people are doubting Zach Wilson. So much so that Colin Kaepernick wrote a letter to the owner of the Jets saying he wants to join the practice squad Jay Cole, for some reason, like we better get a quarterback. The letter in New York, or uh, they gonna have these bags over their head saying they want out of the J E T T. No, J E T S. Hey man, you gotta go get a quarterback. You gotta go get a quarterback. What do you think I about Colin Kaepernick then? and the letter? Well, I didn't see the letter. What did the letter say? He said he would love a chance to join the team and lead the practice squad and be there as a veteran to back up Zach Wilson. Um, actually, you know, I was probably one of the last ones to see Kaepernick go work out and do all his drills when I was down um, in Florida where I'm an athlete. Um, do I think he can play right now? Mm, nah. You haven't played a live rep in how many years? Come on, bro. Like Six. It sound good. That's a good marketing tool for yourself. Oh, no more call me. Bro, nah. It's over with, bro. Like, it just don't work like that. I think they need to call a veteran. Um, if I was New York Jets, I would go call A.J. McCarron. You're calling A.J. That's McCarron, but Kaepernick's a no-go. Nah, Kaepernick is definitely a fucking no-go. All right. The d- J. Cole, I don't know. I, is J. Cole like his agent? I don't know why J. Cole was the one to post it. Um, seems kind of weird. Anyways, they're plus nine and a half going against the Kansas City Chiefs. And the Kansas City Chiefs defense has looked so damn good that the defense is almost as good as the offense right now since the return of Chris Jones. What do you think about this nine game? And a, nine and a half. You know where we're going. We're going to Kansas City. Um, until the Jets offense pick up. I'm going – that's a no-brainer. And the running game for New York, I would think, would be the most important thing to do right now. I would hand the ball off at least 20 times before we get behind the clock or behind a score. Let's run the ball. Let's create a, 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 a establish. You got two really good running backs. Um, but the quarterback play is not there. Not, not at all. I'm taking the Jets. I'm going to say not the Jets. I'm taking Kansas City. Nine I'm taking Kansas half. City, too. Yeah. I, I think Zach Wilson's going to have a bad day. I think he's not going to have a fun time. I think Chris Jones is going to live in the backfield. The offensive line is probably the weakest part of the team besides him. And Patrick Mahomes, he's back. 
the, the jitters, the, the, the first week kind of Super Bowl hangover is gone. Travis Kelsey, they got the kind of like Taylor Swift mojo hanging over the team's head. There's something there. Um, to me, they look better than last year's team, which is really scary for the other 31 teams. So I'm curious to see how they handle business because they, 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 they throttled the Bears. Yeah, they did, but, but we, we don't have nobody we can talk good about on the Bears, not one player. Literally no. And Literally. the defensive coordinator Zero. got busted for something and fired, and there was an FBI van there. It's crazy. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. Just quitting, coach. Just quitting. Yeah, just quitting, I, coach. I, I, just I have a feeling it's a little bit more than just quitting when there's an FBI van there. Um, yeah. Uh, God. Um, hmm. Kind of weird. Real Monday weird. night football, real weird. Real weird. Seahawks, Giants. The Giants are minus one and a half at home. Pack, what do you think about this game? Giants haven't showed me anything this year. Um, I, I probably would have thought they was getting three points. I would have thought the Giants was going to get the three points. Um, we're going to Seahawks. Country road. Take me home to a place. Let's go. This you know line seems about? too good to be true. I too feel good. like they're trying to trap me. I feel like they're like they know something I don't because the Giants look awful. Like seriously, really bad on both sides. So I don't understand how they're favored. I mean, I know they're home, but like they're not one and a half points worse than Seattle on a neutral field. Like Seattle has no. a decent team. Like they can throw the ball. Kenneth Walker was on fire last week. So I don't know where they're getting this line from. I'm going to go against my better judgment and go with the Seahawks plus one and a half and the money line plus 105. But I don't like I know Saquon's going to be back, but he can't make he, he's not Superman. No. Let's go, Gino. The running back can only do so much. Shout out to Gino, constantly getting disrespected. Uh, DK Metcalf, still Tyler, still playing good. Lockett, Let's go, JSN. Yeah, shout out to Gino, big fan of his. Yes, sir. Smell me. You heard? <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> Giants are minus one and a half. That's a crazy line. Which Kelsey Swift combo do you like more? DeAndre Swift and Jason Kelsey or Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift? Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift by far. You know, um, I'm into the the little weird things that Kelsey be doing because I'm kind of a little weird too. Um, yeah, I'm kind of weird yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. I like the Swift Swifties. Is that, what they call this? They damn group. Yeah, they Swifties. Self, the fans, Swifties. Yeah. What well, you see the girls who are like, man, Travis Kelsey didn't have a career before he started dating Taylor Swift. People. And then people. the guys come in and are like, he's the best tight end. He's in the, the NFL. best tight end ever to play. <laughs> By far, <laughs> one of the best tight ends, if not the best. Number wise, he had the best numbers that's ever been. Uh. uh like he got, he lead every category. Like people, what are we talking about? Like, bro, the, the Swifties hey, are like posting old clips of him on dating shows. Like, it was kind a of part annoying. Of yeah, yeah. The Swifties, hey, we better not fuck with them Swifties though, because they are. No, deep. no, no. We, we gotta cut this out because I don't want them attacking yeah. us. They're a lot worse <laughs> than the World Star people. <laughs> yeah. I don't want beef with any of those types of people. We don't want no smoke. <laughs> This has been Running It Back with Pack and Zach, presented by Bet Online.